Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and this video is sponsored by Omaze. They're giving you a prize worth $20,000 to level up your home PC and treat yourself to top of the line gear from monitors, processors and headsets to graphics cards and all the RAM you can imagine. Whether it's just for gaming, maybe you want to make your own content, you could be pursuing a passion for graphic design or just massively upgrading your work from home. A $20,000 setup is pretty sweet. All you have to do is enter for a chance to win. If you aren't aware, every Omaze campaign supports a great cause and this time it's going to the amazing people at Gamers Outreach Gamers Outreach provides recreation to children in hospitals through the power of video games in the gaming community. Hospitalization can often be a lonely, isolation, and scary experience for young people. And Gamers Outreach brings joy with their well-known medical-grade gaming kiosk called the Gamers Outreach Cart. Go Cart for short. In short, go-karts are portable video game kiosks specifically built for the medical environment. Your donation can help ease the burden of long-term hospitalization by providing equipment, technology, and software for kids trying to deal with long-term treatment. So to potentially win that prize worth $20,000 and also help the Gamers Outreach program, you can go to amaze.com slash callmekevin. That link will be down in the description, by the way. You can also use my code callmekevin20 to get 20 additional entries. Big shout out to Amaze for the sponsor and obviously the fantastic work they're doing linked to many many fantastic charities uh, i hope you enjoy the video hey there friends how's it going my name is mr prepper and today we are playing kevin a game all about preparing for the worst ow i'm already offended because there's just soup fecking everywhere and i hate soup <laughs> i like there's a massive nuke here and then i'm focusing on the soup over here like i'd rather be over here i like how his idea of prepping is just sitting back and watching the world burn all right let's start a new game tip prepare yourself for the worst i have news for you i am the worst do you want to play the tutorial no i am a professional game Gamer. They call me Mr. Prepper. I'm pretty sure no one calls you that. It's just yourself and the people around you who you force to call you that. By the way, you can call me Mr. Prepper from now on. Call me Mr. Prepper. And we are back at your place of residence, citizen. So this is when he tried to escape. He's been brought back here. Some dystopian future. So there is over there. Here is over here. There is also there. Somewhere is over there. Over is over here. Here is here. And somewhere is over there. I'm not surprised you didn't manage to get away with directions like that. For an intended escape, we've confiscated your vehicle. This is standard procedure. I'll come for a brief inspection regularly <laughs> just following him i'm like i want to hang out with you come on let's go grab a pint somewhere oh he's gone off screen which means he's ceased to exist fine back to the house i go the ultimate plan let's take a look at your ultimate plan i swear if this is drawn in crayon i'm gonna be very upset goal number one survive okay goal number two escape all right establish a food source grow some plants in my bunker i do i even have a bunker yet you will need five room soil five seed bags I haven't even started my bunker and he's already thinking about <laughs> making a farm underground. The mailman's just waiting. Do you have to wait every time you bring a letter? Because if so, you must have a long day. I assume I have to go down here with my bunker because there's like gas lines around here. So I don't think that's a good idea. How are you, Mr. Prepper? Oh no, don't enable him. Don't call him that. Okay, let's build our first little basement area. <laughs> the door is even open. They can see him. There we go. Got our first room, but he's no way of getting down there. Okay, I should probably try and make a workbench metal and wood can i just disassemble things or maybe order something wait, i fainted at the mailbox for feck's sake dude you, you could have just gone inside and gone on the couch you were unconscious for 11 hours 48 minutes god damn it i just slept on the lawn wait do i have a workbench already let's try and see if i can make anything i do have a workbench can i make stairs all right i think i actually need this to craft so let, let's try and get that wood and metal asher eat some beets you can't beat it can i just like disassemble one of these for metal is that possible this is Assemble. Okay, that'll get me five metal, which is what I need. Then I just need a bit more wood. There we go. I'll disassemble my table. Probably could have used that, but oh well. <laughs> now we can make a ladder. Oh no, I need three metal. All right, let's just disassemble one of these again, I guess. I don't really want to. What is this? Is there anything else metal that I could disassemble? You know what? Feck it. Just get rid of the oil. Oil be fine without it. All right, so I just drag that over there. Is this going to be secret enough? I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to do it anyway. <laughs> if they come to inspect, I think they might be worried about this okay it's super dark down there now can i make lights wall lamp i need glass all right time to raid the kitchen oh god i'm starving i'm starving and i'm just destroying plates in the garden hold on oh god i need to sleep as well for feck's sake why do i have to have basic human needs should i move the workbench can i move the workbench i just feel like it's a bit suspicious just out in the garden here crafting all of this stuff i don't want to get caught there we go now we're talking why does every game i play end 
with basements. Like, I know this is kind of fitting for this game, but I just feel like it always comes back to basements. There we go. Now we got our workbench underground. It's a bit more convenient as well. That kind of helps. All right, he wants to build a garden, but can I go down a bit further? I don't really want my garden immediately here. You should go to sleep. What? But I'm fine. I'm not tired. I am a little bit now. Okay, now I might go to bed. <laughs> oh, this is my inspection day, I think. I'm the eighth, so I'm good for now. I just ate three cabbages. <laughs> Your preparedness is low. He's not feeling prepared enough, so he's getting pissed off with me. We need one more metal. Can I buy some metal from... what? Who was it? Sergi. There we go. I bought one box. That, that's enough to make my ladder. In the meantime, I'll be in my basement making more wall lamps. Oh, God damn it! He needs a nap. He's such a sleepy individual. Like, he's complaining that I'm not prepared enough, but he's the one who's begging to sleep all the time. I even got an achievement sleepy head because I'm just sleeping all the time. Oh. There's the mailman, again, just waiting for me to come to the door. Just any sort of social interaction, he's begging for it. I'm coming out and get my mail, I'm not even going to say a word. I'm just going back inside. I looked him dead in the eyes and then just walked away. He's still hoping I'll come back. Maybe he's just bringing it indoors and he'll come back out again. Right, let's disassemble this box I just bought. That's what I think of your box. All right, I'm just going to build a straight chain of ladders straight down. So you better not fall, because if you do, you're in trouble, mister. Oh, into the void. Look at him. He's just down there in the void. Oh my god, he's starving again. I really gotta sort out that, that farm down there. I'm gonna put some soil on the floor and grow some plants, I think. There we go. Soup did wonders for me, but I'm still pissed off that I had to eat it at all. Ah, seeds. Perfect. All right, we're going down and planting these seeds in my little garden. Honestly, why can't I just do a garden outside? I don't know. Is that frowned upon in this dystopian future? I hope to god I don't have to keep watering these things, because that is gonna be a pain <laughs> unless I can get some sort of spring sprinkler system. God, this place must be so damp down here. At least I got it done before I go to bed. That's impressive day's work. <laughs> Establishing a whole extra floor in my bunker. Honestly, how he did it by hand, I have no idea. Right, who's standing at my door? Oh, I need to eat first and then I'll go answer the door. Why are you just lingering there? You're freaking me out. Oh my god, you're scary. Is that a blimp carrying a tree? <laughs> did someone put on the chaos mod? Wait, that thing auto opens? I think that's a trap door more than anything now. Oh god, she's walking away. Even the way she walked was terrifying. Where can I go? Can I go to the forest? I'd like a day trip somewhere. I don't know if I should leave my home unlocked with everything going on, but well, we're in the forest now. I don't know if these are poisonous, but I'm taking it. <laughs> I'll eat them. I'm happy either way. Wait, there's a lever? What? Oh, what the hell is that? Wait, there's someone in there. What are you holding? A suspicious bush. <laughs> Are you the herbalist I'm looking for? Oh, fudge. I wasn't hiding. Just picking some berries. Oh, my God. She emerges like Homer emerges from the bush. There's a really vicious wolf hanging around constantly. I feel like I've just entered some folklore story or something. She wants me to get rid of the wolf. He's like, is a red hood and a basket required for this mission? I'll deal with the wolf. Really? Is that a good idea? She's literally talking to our plants. She said to poison a sausage. I t this seems like a big ordeal. <laughs> Do you have poison? <laughs> Because they're like, what am I supposed to do? I have to go find some sausages, find some poison, and then come out into the woods and try and feed a wolf? This seems like a suicide mission. Everything's slowed down. I don't feel prepared enough. He's just obsessed with his bunker. He just wants to go home. To be fair, I'd use any excuse to get out of fighting this wolf too. You know, I'm going feckin' home. <laughs> I'm not I'm not dealing with this right now. Oh my god, she's hanging outside my house again. She's just coming by and staring right into the camera at times. I need to go out and say hello at some point, but I'm just so, so socially anxious around her. She She's scary. Baseball bat. I don't think the simple trap would work on the wolf, but maybe the baseball bat would. It's just a little box with a stick. I don't think a wolf is going in that. And even if it does, I'm pretty sure it could get out. There you go. Nice and watered now. Should I name my plants if she's named hers? She called her plant Bob. I'm going to call you one, you two, you three, you four, and you Janice. All right, I guess I'll go sleep. And then in the morning, I'll go fight the wolf. <laughs> Quite a busy day ahead of myself. Like even a home aside, I'm going to raise suspicion if that guy comes for an inspection. I'm covered with scratch marks. What have you been up to, citizen? Fighting wolves. All right, well, I guess it's time to fight the big bad wolf. We gotta stop procrastinating on this. Can I equip my baseball bat? I can. All right. <laughs> Looks like a man on a mission. <laughs> Wait, oh, I need one lever to repair this for a cable car. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, I don't know why I'm doing this service for the community. I don't know why I'm doing any of this, honestly. I'm just trying to prepare for doomsday. So I can go straight to level two now, is it? Ah, I can't. Why did a ladder come down? I guess because I'm going to cable car. Okay, fair enough. Well, I'm here now. Danger. <laughs> 
Is this the way that old lady hiding in the bush is sending me? It seems like it's a risk. Ooh, a lever again. This is where I'm going to get attacked, isn't it? I can see something here, like a tail popping up or something. Yep. Oh, shit. Here we go. He doesn't look that tough. Are you serious? Look at him. He looks vicious. Get him. <laughs> Just hit with stick. Hit with stick. Is that it? Oh, no. No, of course that's not it. Oh, shit. Is, is that it? Oh, no. <laughs> I was about to say that wasn't too bad. And then this huge one starts coming out. Okay, I did literally no defense. A good defense is spamming left click. <laughs> one wolf, eight wolves. What's the difference? Uh, I'll tell you what the difference is. I'm going to murder that old lady. Oh, this is the cabin though. Okay, great. She said I can take anything from the cabin. I'd take the feckin' cabin, honestly. All right, anything of value is mine. Take it all. Even this, this family photo they have. <laughs> I'll just take it. It's mine. My guy's being far too generous. Like, I want to take all of this stuff, but I just can't. I want to take all the furniture, all the food, all the plates, everything. But fine, we'll settle for that. I got a lot of seeds, at least. That's something. But, like, there's a literal forest. I'm sure I could find more seeds. Look at her with feckin' Bob. Oh my god, she's even written Bob on the side of the plant. Just in case she forgets which one is Bob. Alright, Jenny unlocked. Who knows what she's gonna do for me? I, I guess I buy seeds from her. She wants me to go fetch mushrooms from an old mine. She gives very extreme quests. How are my plants looking? Oh, they're looking pretty good. I think I can harvest them. I can. Straight out of the dirt. Don't even wash them. Just start eating those carrots. Yummy. Wait, all this food spoiled. What? Wait, what was it? For feck's sake. I just had it on my person too long. I didn't even realize I had food on me. Right, you know what? We're still doing kind of okay. We got some fresh food in there now. I should probably put away this bloody bat in case anyone comes in. I'm the most suspicious person ever. This feckin' neighbor. Go confront her quick. Stop standing on my lawn. Okay, she just left. All right, that is feckin' weird. <laughs> She's literally living there. That was so weird. I'm gonna put a crate for storage instead of carrying every single item on me. <laughs> Starting to feel like Skyrim now. All right, let's go to this stupid old creepy mine to get some feckin' mushrooms. What is she making with these? This is obviously some illegal drug ring she's running. <laughs> this is so dodgy. Why am I doing this for this stupid old lady? Who are you? <laughs> Why are you in here? He wants me to fix the elevator and then he'll allow me in. I mean, is is it even your mine? I think he's just wandered in here too. Repair. Do I need a lever? Because if so, I have one. 10 metal. God damn it. Why are all you people so awkward to work with? Oh my God. There's some goodies down here though. I, I like, I want to get in here. We're starting. I need more metal. <laughs> all right. I need one more thing. So I'm taking the cookie jar to get one more metal. <laughs> God, he's resourceful, isn't he? Oh no. Inspection in, in one day. Oh, I hope I don't get caught. I don't know if I should try and hide the basement more. No, he won't look under the hatch. Why would you? There we go. 10 metal. Metal. Fix that thing up. Bob's house unlocked. Okay, he's inviting me over to his home. Now that I've fixed the elevator. I don't really want to go to his home. I want whatever this thing is. Oh no. Oh no. What the hell is this thing? Oh sweet Jesus. Mole rat or something. <laughs> Okay, it's, it's dead. That wasn't too bad, actually. Oh, of course there's more. Of course there's more. Why did I think I could just get this card? Oh, that wasn't bad, actually. It looks like I can just get this card. A mining pass. Why do I need a mining pass? <laughs> I don't understand. I'm down here anyway. Once I have this mining pass, I'll just collect these rocks, I guess. <laughs> I don't even have a pickaxe. I'm just picking them up. Oh, gold. Nice. I knew there was gold in them hills. I came here for mushrooms, but there is literally nothing. Unless it's out this side? I don't understand. Stand. Maybe that old lady should do something for herself for a change. I'm sick of enabling her behavior. I'm going home. I'm trying to get prepared for the apocalypse over here. I don't need to be running these chores. All right, I think it's time to sleep, even though I'm not tired at all. <laughs> Story of my life. And we'll see if I pass the inspection. That's all I can hope for. That creepy neighbor's outside again. Are you doing the inspection? Is that it? You're a spy? I ran out of salt. Can I borrow some? I don't even have salt for myself. Here, I have some exotic bait. No, you don't want that. Okay. I like how I didn't even tell her I don't have any. I just left her stand there. Can I harvest these? I can. Oh, I can cover it. Oh, there we go. Not suspicious at all. It's even going through to the next room. Good thing I realized that like minutes before the inspection starts. I hope he doesn't come upstairs and see the ultimate escape plan up here. I need one inspiration. I'm not a very inspiring person, apparently. Wait, what is this? A mining pass. Does, <laughs> will that work? No. Oh, I just realized I can use that to go to the next level in the mine. Oh, okay, now I understand. Find inspiration. 
exasperation. How do I do that? I guess I just continue with the quests, like bring in the mushrooms and stuff. But for now, I'm just going to wait. Oh, if it's the mailman. One rocket photo. <laughs> Very inspiring, it says. All right, let's see. You brought a lot of mail for me. I hope the agent does not see the house like this. What's wrong with it? Like other than the weird rock placement. All right, here's my inspiration. A picture of a rocket. I need 10 glass, 20 metal, and 50 stone to build my rocket silo. <laughs> what the hell? You go from planting seedlings to that. Oh, wait, here's my inspection. Open the door. Agent has arrived. Okay, all right. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, come in. Don't look under there, though. No, keep moving. Go on. <laughs> this is standard procedure. Yep, sure is. Don't, oh, don't notice that you hear those metal sounds. No, don't go upstairs. Oh, don't look at the ultimate plan. I should have feckin' hit it. Can I? Turn. Turn. Run. No, no. <laughs> I didn't realize I could hide the board. I even have blueprints of the feckin' rocket. He's looking like dangerous dreams, citizen. Oh, no. Don't kill me. <laughs> Suspicion level 50%. He, like, puts a circle around it. He's also upset that I'm missing my table and I have no plates whatsoever. Look, I just eat out of my hands. I don't need table or plates. Just realized the place is called Merrickville as well. The house is not ready for the inspection. I better hurry. Oh, no. He's gonna do another inspection like four days because I was so suspicious. I didn't even turn the board. <laughs> do you think he'd fall for it next time? I just turned it around. He's like, yep, yeah, all checks out. I'm retreating to my bunker. I hope he doesn't go. Oops, I forgot to give him this. It just comes back <laughs> and sees the hatch. I'm gonna live down here for the rest of my life and I think I'm gonna end it there. I hope you enjoyed. I'd be open to play some more of this, so let me know if you want to see more. If you're new, be sure to hit subscribe. Would love to see you around, but uh, that's about it. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye for now.